Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, in the previous videos, uh, we have seen three very inefficient uh, sorting algorithms, uh, namely bubble sort, uh, selection sort, and insertion sort. All of them took uh, order and square time to sort a given sequence of n numbers. Okay. So if you have to solve uh, uh, sort about a million numbers, that's about 10 to the power six numbers, then all these algorithms are going to take a uh, few minutes. So it's always good to have an n long n algorithm. Uh, which will take, uh, which will sort a sequence of uh, 1 million numbers in less than a second. So one such algorithm is merge sort. Uh, the basic idea in the merge sort algorithm is the uh, divide and conquer uh, te uh, technique. Uh, we will use uh, divide and uh, uh, divide and conquer technique to design uh, the merge sort algorithm. So what really happens in the merge sort algorithm is that given an array of size gain, we divide this into two equal parts. Uh, one we can call it as the uh, left side part, and the other one is the right, uh, uh, right subarray. So then you recursively call the function to sort these two sequences. And uh, once these two uh, sequences are individually sorted, then you call a merge function which will merge the two sorted sequences. And we will also show that uh, uh, this uh, entire complexity of this algorithm is theta of n log n. So in the merge sort algorithm, given yeah. so given an array of size gain, uh, we will divide this into two parts and uh, sort uh, these two parts recursively, and then try to combine these two sorted sequences into one uh, sorted sequence. Okay, let's let's quickly look at uh, with this algorithm with an example. Let's say that we want to uh, sort the sequence. So what we do is that when you want to sort the sequence, we divide this into exactly half. The first half will have four elements and the second half will have exactly four elements. Then we further divide when you want to solve the on the left hand side, we again divide the left hand side to half. Okay, so the first we will have 3 and 7 and 4 and then we will have 6 and 1. Similarly, when you want to recursively solve, solve the sequence on the right hand side, so what will happen is that we will further divide this into uh, half. So eventually, uh, so we will be dividing this into 7 and 4, 6 and 1, 3 and 5 and 8 and 2. Now you combine, uh, so after you uh, so after you divide, and now we will sort uh, uh, these sequences. If you have to sort this sequence, we will again divide this into half, this is 7 and 4, then we will try to uh, combine that. When you try to combine uh, 7 and 4, so what we do is that you first write, when there are only two numbers, it is easy. You first write the smaller number and then write the bigger number. So if you have to really sort uh, 7 and 4, recursively you will sort 7 and 4. Then you try to combine these two answers. When you try to combine these two answers, uh, we first write uh, 4 and 7. Okay. And the second one will be written as 1 comma 6 and the third one remain as 3 and 5 and the fourth one will be written as 2 comma 8. So now you try to combine these two. So if you combine these two, uh, so what you are going to get is uh, 1, 4, 6, 7. Now you, uh, if you have to combine these two, you get uh, 2, 3, 5, 8. The important thing here is uh, how to merge two sorted sequences. Okay. So everything else is uh, taken care by the recursion. The only thing that we need to understand is the uh, algorithm to merge the two sorted sequences. So if I give you 1, 4, 6, 7 and 2, 3, 5, 8, how do we merge these two sequences and get a sorted sequence which reads uh, from 1 to 8. So we have a simple algorithm which is called the merge function. So it starts with the uh, left end point of the two sorted sequences. Now you compare these two uh, numbers, whichever is smaller, you write it into the another array and move the corresponding point to the right. Since 1 is smaller than 2, we write 2 into the array and move the corresponding pointer to the right. So now we compare 2 and 4. So two, since 2 is smaller, we write 2 here and move the pointer uh, to the right hand side. So now we will, the pointer, left pointer is at uh, 4 and the right pointer is at uh, 3. So now we compare 4 and 3. Since 3 is smaller, Whichever element is smaller, we will write that and move the corresponding pointer to the right. That's all. So the next uh, we will compare uh, 4 and 5. So 4 is smaller. So we need move the pointer to 6. Next we will compare 5 and 6. 5 is smaller. So we write 5 and move the corresponding point to the right. So now we will compare 6 and 8. Okay. Since 6 is smaller, we write 6 and uh, move 7. 
move to 7. Now we come to 7 and 8. 7 is smaller, so we reach the end of the uh, list. So once we reach the end of the list, uh, then uh, so we uh, write whatever is there on the uh, rest of the list in the other list. Okay. So we divide this into uh, the Merchant algorithm is simple. You divide the uh, uh, given array of 8 numbers uh, uh, into 2 halves. The first half has, uh, uh, so this, uh, uh, the, when you divide it, you get uh, 7461. So the second half will have 3582. You recursively call the merge sort function, which will give you one on the left hand side, uh, after you call the merge sort function, it will be a sorted sequence. You get 1467. And the right hand side, when you recursively call the uh, merge sort function you put uh, 2358. So once these two sequences are sorted, what we need, really need to do is to write a merge function which merges two given sorted sequences. So the algorithm to merge the two se given sequences is that you start uh, in the beginning of the uh, two uh, list, uh, two uh, sorted sequences, uh, make the corresponding uh, comparisons. Uh, whichever is smaller you write into another array and the move the corresponding pointer to the right. If the length left, uh, if the first array, uh, wherever the pointer is, is uh, smaller than the um, uh, corresponding pointer in the second array, so whichever is smaller, that is the left one, will be written and the corresponding pointer will move to the right. So in summary, so what we have is that in merge sort, we divide the array into two equal parts, merge the sorts recursively, merge the two parts recursively, and you know, sort the sequence, uh, sort the two parts uh, recursively, and merge the sorted sequence. So the only thing that we need to understand now is to how to write the code for merging the two sorted sequences. Pictorially, if you are given uh, uh, the array uh, with indexing from L to R, including both endpoints, we want to sort the numbers from uh, L to R. So we first find uh, the middle point. So what we recursively do is that you sort the left point from I to uh, mid. Then from mid plus 1 to R you recursively sort. Then once you have these two sorted sequence, so what you basically do is that uh, use the merge function to merge two sorted sequence. The code for this is looks very simple. Uh, so there is an R here. So you are given a uh, merge sort function which takes an array uh, and you are given L and R. So you first find the midpoint, then recursively sort from uh, L to mid, this is the left part of the array. Then you know, recursively sort the right part of the array, which is from mid plus 1 to R. Then once these two left side subarray is already sorted and uh, the right, uh, this right side subarray is already sorted, then you call a merge function, which basically merges to sorted sequences. So this will continue as long as L is smaller than R. If L is equal to R, essentially means that uh, there is only one number. So when, when there is only one number that itself the, so the sequence that is given is already sorted and uh, if L is greater than R that means that it is not in the valid range in that case uh, we do not do anything. So now the only thing that we need to look at now is to look at the code for the merge function. Uh, the merge function uh, takes an array from uh, uh, L to R and the we are understanding is that from L to mid plus mid it's already sorted and from mid plus 1 to R again it is sorted. So mid is easy to compute, it is the midpoint of the array from L to R. So mid can be uh, computed by uh, looking at L plus uh, R by 2. So now I have an index i which will start uh, traversing the list from the left hand, uh, the left side uh, subarray which is already sorted and I have an index j which will start processing, uh, uh, accessing the elements in the second array. So as long as we are in the valid range, so uh, the first array is from I to mid, so uh, L to mid, so I started with L but I should not, uh, I can go only up to mid and the second array I started from mid plus 1 but I can go up to R. So what I do is that I compare whether AFI is smaller than FJ, so that means that AFI is the smaller number, so I write that into an array B. So B is, in, uh, is an another region which is given to me. I will start uh, writing from the beginning. So every time when I write uh, the B, both the uh, uh, this pointer also will increase by one, and this uh, this also increases by one because when I come back, I want to write to the next location. 
and if I have written this then uh, I need to move this pointer to the right. So if this condition is not true that means that fj is smaller in that case I will write fj uh, to the location of b and move the j pointer to the next. When I come back next time depending on which was smaller and which was written to b the corresponding pointer would have moved. This will continue as long as uh, there are two uh, both the sub are not completely accessed. So when I come out of this loop, uh, exactly one of the, we have, we would have reached I, either end of the first uh, left sub array or the end of the second sub array. So we don't know which of them. So depending on exactly one, because uh, uh, when you go inside the loop, uh, I will be incremented or J will be incremented. So when, uh, if both the conditions were true, uh, it cannot happen that uh, both the conditions will be false at some point of time. Okay, because only when you go inside uh, either i or j is going to be incremented. So one of the condition will be true and one of the condition will be false when you come out of this while loop. So we don't know which one of them. So so we will write it as uh, depending on which one is the case. If the left, uh, if there is something still uh, left in the left side array that is still uh, i is smaller than mid plus one. So whatever is left in the left side array, you will just write it to b. Similarly. If this, uh, if we have already reached the, uh, if i is equal to already mid plus 1, then this will not be executed. In that case, so what is going to be executed is this. Okay, either exactly one of the uh, while these two while loops will be executed. Right, so if the, if we have not reached the end of the second part of the sub array, uh, then we will write whatever is left in the second part of the sub array into b. So the objective here is to sort a sequence from L to R. So we have sorted the sequence and written the answer in B, but we don't want to uh, use the B, so we want to write everything back to A. So that's easy to see because uh, you start processing the list from beginning. So I want to write it from L to R. So as long as I is smaller than R, so whatever is there in uh, B, you write it back to A. So you copy and uh, the merge sequence is written into B and from B we will write back to A. So that uh, at the end of this uh, merge function, uh, this merge function actually takes the uh, two sequences. When uh, when you give the input to this merge function from L to mid, it's already sorted. From mid plus one to R, it's already sorted. And after this merge function, the entire sequence from L to R will be sorted. So notice that in order to implement this, we are uh, using an additional array which is B whose uh, size uh, in worst case need to be uh, order n. So now let's focus our attention on uh, uh, the analyzing the merge sort algorithm. So let's see of n be the number of comparisons done by the uh, merge sort algorithm. So uh, the first part is to uh, divide this into two equal parts and uh, uh, sort these two equal parts, right? So uh, these two parts. Uh, since we are dividing into equal two parts, uh, each of these uh, two parts will have exactly uh, n by 2 number of elements in it. So, uh, so we use the same merge sort to uh, recursively sort these uh, numbers. So the complexity of uh, um, sorting the left hand sub, uh, left uh, sub array is t by 2 and similarly the, uh, the right side sub array is t by 2. So the so total complexity of sorting the uh, sub arrays is uh, 2 into t of n by 2. After that we merge, right? So in order to merge what we do is that we uh, start uh, processing the list from left to right, right? They both the list, both the halves and uh, we will look at all the numbers and write it to b and then write back from b to a, right? So, uh, see every time when you do a comparison, one of the number is written into b. Since the entire uh, array length that is given to me is n, so every time when you do a comparison, either L increments, I increments by one or J increments by one, right? So then, uh, so the both the arrays are trying to traverse uh, uh, from uh, left to right. So the total number of comparisons done by this algorithm is exactly is uh, to n. One is to write to b, and then write back from b to a. So the total complexity of this algorithm can be written as t of n is equal to 2 into t of n by 2 plus 2n. 2n is the complexity for merging. So if I expand this again, so t of n by 2, I can write it as uh, 2 into t of uh, n by 4 uh, plus uh, 2 into n by 2. 
So the 2 and 2 will cancel. What you are going to basically get is uh, uh, 4 into T of n by 4 plus uh, 4 of n. In general, if you expand this uh, k number of times, what we will get is 2 to the power k into T of n by 2 to the power k and uh, plus 2, uh, in, uh, 2 into k into n. So every time when you uh, uh, apply, this uh, apply this recursion, uh, in the power of k will increase by 1. Here uh, n will be divided by 2 and uh, 2n will be uh, added here. right? So when will this uh, recursion terminate? When this becomes uh, 1, if there is only one element to be sorted, then we do, don't do anything. right? So in that case, we do just do one comparison. This becomes 1 and n is equal to 2 to the power k or k is equal to log of n. If I plug in the value of k is equal to log of n, this becomes n into t of 1 which is uh, n plus uh, 1 plus 2 into uh, log of n plus uh, n. So this is, so this can be read as n plus 2 into log of n plus n. So which is essentially uh, 2 into log of n plus n. Okay. So there, so there should be a plus n here. So this uh, uh, entire thing can be written as uh, 2 into log of n is the dominating term. In terms of theta, uh, the total number of comparisons done by the merge sort algorithm is uh, n log n. So in this video, we have seen uh, what's a merge sort algorithm, uh, how does it work and the complexity is n log n. The only drawback of the merge sort algorithm is that it requires an additional array of size n. So if you can declare an array of size only 10 to the power 6 uh, in your computer and if I give you exactly 10 to the power 6 numbers to be sorted, then uh, you cannot use merge sort because you need additional memory of the n in order to uh, sort these sequences. In other words, uh, the merge function that I used uses an additional memory of the n. So can we avoid doing this? Uh, can we modify uh, merge sort algorithm so that you don't use the additional uh, array? I will leave it to you for you for you to think about. Um, so we will assume that this cannot be done, right? But I want all of you to uh, spend some time why uh, the additional array is absolutely necessary uh, in the merge function. So uh, that's one of the drawback of it. If you are given exact, if you can store exactly n numbers in your array uh, in your computer, but if you want to sort exactly n uh, number of elements, uh, then the merge sort cannot be used. So, uh, so we are looking for a uh, n log n algorithm uh, which does not use any uh, additional space. Uh, we will look at a uh, quick sort uh, which will try to uh, do this in the next video.